All right. Fallout 2. I think as you saw in the introductory movies, well, two things, actually. The Garden of Eden creation kit, GAC. I'm sure they didn't put that in there for no reason. Not sure what the significance is, but I'm sure we'll discover that through the course of the game. Also, the second movie alluding to events from the first game. Yeah, don't ask me how. Lily was there then and here now, unless you want to chuck it up to some idea of resurrection, which kind of fits in with the Hindu theme I guess you find in Fallout. The year is 2241. That's almost 80 years after the events of the first game. And we're north of Vault 13, or at least where it used to be. Not even sure if it's still there. In fact, I think that would be neat if this game allowed us to go back there and see what happened to those Vault Dwellers after so many generations, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. We start the game in a tribal village called Arroyo, which I think we saw in the introductory movie was sheltered by canyons. I thought that was kind of interesting. And of course, <laughs> Lily is a resident of this village. All right, actually, two things I want to cover before anything else. One is, I guess, a bit of a disclaimer. This game is mature. I think it even mentions that in the manual on page 82. And not just for reasons of language, but for adult situations, sexual or otherwise. And I have no idea how depraved the game developers were. But I swear, if Lily gets raped in this game, I'm going to be very upset myself. <laughs> but I'm just throwing that out there as a warning to anybody with delicate sensibilities who might be easily offended. Because there is some crazy things in here, like porn stars and midgets and the like. In fact, I think somebody asked once if Lily's going to be a porn star in this game. <laughs> and my response to that is she's more likely to fall in love with a porn actress than to become one herself. And the second thing is just more or less a request. This is a blind Let's Play. I've never played Fallout 2 before, so I just ask that nobody spoil anything. I guess that's pretty simple. Thanks. Actually, I should probably add to that, well, some people call it roleplay. <laughs> I mean, it's just a video game. It's for fun. I like things to be driven by character motivations, and I don't like to metagame. So, she won't act on any information she hasn't gleaned for herself. So even if you tell me, her player, 20 times about something, it's not going to change anything unless she discovers it for herself in the game. Just wanted to throw that out there. All right, and unlike the first game, we can actually look at game preferences before we start the game, which is nice. But despite the 166 pages in the manual, it did not describe combat looks. So I'm just going to leave that on, assuming that's going to give us more information somewhere. The only other changes I made was uh, subtitles, turning those on, combat speed to fastest, I think that just affects animations, and text delay to slowest. So these should be the same settings I had for the first game. Of course I made some changes here in uh, volume and brightness. And this, I think is just for the restoration project. I didn't make <laughs> any changes in here. Just leaving these at the uh, defaults. Alright. Of course, these are the default characters that you can take and play the game with. <laughs> I thought this is interesting. This is Chitsa, the diplomatic character. She has heroic charisma and sex appeal. Quite different from Albert, if you notice. <laughs> but uh, I created Lily's character as it was in the beginning of the first game. Okay, here it is. And uh, <laughs> I'm only going to make two changes to this. Of course, uh, we have her name, Lily Black. Her age was 23 in the last series. I'm just going to advance this by a year. So she's going to be 24 at the start of this one. Of course, she's female. And uh, let's see, race, I think, is just something with the restoration project, but there's no options here. Okay. Of course, she has poor strength and poor luck. And uh, her greatest assets being intelligence and charisma. But I'm actually going to swap agility and endurance. And the reason behind that is, well, if you could use a scenario, would she be able to sneak past a rad scorpion? No. But if she got bit by one, she'd be more likely to be able to withstand the poison. So I'm just going to flip those around. And uh, let's see. Jinxed and bloody mess. 
<laughs> these are two of my favorite features of the first game. So, of course, I'm going to pick those again. And uh, let's see, tag skills. There was no question about science and speech. And uh, I'm just going to continue with barter as a third tag skill for her. All right, style. I don't think there's any choices with this. I think this is with the restoration project. She has to go with this uh, short bob cut, which isn't bad. Look at this figure. <laughs> this looks like she's not wearing a shirt. I hope that's not the case. All right. Come in, chosen one. There are things you must know. The village is dying. The signs are everywhere. Withering crops. Dying Brahmin. Sick children. There is hope, however. A slim hope. That few know of. The old discs speak of an item called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It is said it can bring life to the wasteland. This will be your quest, if you prove yourself worthy. For that proof, you must first journey to the Temple of Trials. If you survive, come back to me. We will talk more. Our life is in your hands, Chosen One. Prove yourself. Find the Gek. Be our salvation. Wow, so already a reference to the Gek, the Garden of Eden creation kit. And of course, Lily's tasked with getting that for the village. <laughs> Why her? Who knows? But uh, before she's even given the privilege of that quest, she has to prove herself here. This must be at the Temple of Trials. I thought that was interesting. Also referring to her as the Chosen One. Well, I guess that makes sense. Lily's special, but why she's chosen isn't really clear. Alright. Actually, I just want to look at the interface see what's uh, changed. Doesn't look like much. <laughs> of course, they didn't change anything with a map. <laughs> the character record. That's nice. They put the level title here, Wanderer. Assuming that's uh, for level one. Or maybe that has to do with karma. I'm not sure. Virgin of the Wastes. I think that's from the Restoration Project. So <laughs> Lily's technically a virgin. But I guess that makes sense. Lily's a gold star. And Reputation now is based on locale. So, in Arroyo, her home village, Lily's idolized. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Maybe it's on account of her good looks. Alright. That's right. Not given a pet boy at the start of the game. I think I remember reading this in the manual. It's a item, uh, almost legendary, I think. Be nice if uh, she acquires one in the game, though, later on. Yeah, it's 2241, July 25th. That's it, she's given this spear. Wow, not much. Look at that, <laughs> it requires strength four. Well, that figures. <laughs> she's probably better off, uh, probably kicking. She has to defend herself. All right. <laughs> Look at that, like a real tribes village woman. Okay. This must be another tribes person, Clint. Standing next to a pole with human skulls attached. That shows you what kind of tribe this is. <laughs> yeah, look at that tribal bikini top she's wearing. I just gotta find some clothes. Rocks. They look dangerous just sitting there. Something tells me uh, she doesn't have a choice. She's going to have to go into that temple. I think she's going to see if she can uh, maybe convince Clint to do the job for her. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was either. Sounded of like a weather effect. Yeah, let's see what Clint has to say. 
See how gullible he is. Good day to you, Lily Black. You have not completed the trial of the Elder and may not pass. <laughs> Should have expected that one. Look at this. The tell me about interface is gone. And this is new. Well, assuming it's still bottle caps. But uh, of course she has none. But yeah, Lily would like to go back to the village. Forgive me, I cannot allow you to pass. If you wish to return to the village, you may do so only by passing the trial set before you. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look like she's going to be able to convince him to do it for her. I have no answers to your questions. Take the trial set before you by the Elder and prove yourself worthy to lead our people. Here's what uh, Clint has. Nothing. All right. You were running Killip's Fallout 2 restoration project. <laughs> okay. Information on a rock here explaining to us about a mod we had installed. <laughs> Guess that's handy. Not sure why they put it there, though. Yeah, and something tells me uh, she's not gonna be able to get through all of this brush. I don't think she's gonna have a choice, unless this is a path. No, rocks are in her way. All right, <laughs> so Lily has no choice. Actually, I know this is awfully short, but uh, this is the first recording. I'm gonna make sure uh, everything did record properly. But uh, I guess next time, Lily will be going into the Temple of Trials to prove herself to the village elder <laughs> that she's worthy, I guess, and maybe is the chosen one to go and look for, I guess, this Gek. But if you're watching, thanks, and uh, later.